Uh-oh, I think I made a mistake. The mistake that I made, I'm going to talk about that in today's edition of Saturday School, right here, right now. And it's time for another edition of Saturday School, where I share wig wisdom and wig knowledge. Do you like this wig that you see in the picture here? I found her this past week on eBay. I like the price point, $38.95. Got her home with shipping and tax and all that for $50.61. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. There she is, right back there on the wig stand. I'm going to take her off and I'm going to show you what I saw. Hold on a second. Here she is. As we've already seen, her name is Lexi. And Lexi is in the color 60. Well, look at that. White, white, white. She's in the color 60. And she is a short wig. Let me get a different view here. She's a short wig. She's got choppy layers, flipped ends, as you can see. And let me show you what happened to make, to make me want to make this video for you. So I put her on yesterday. Actually, I was talking to my sister on the phone, and I popped her on. And as I was looking at her, and I don't know if you can see this, What's the first thing that you think of when you see that? It looks a little nesty to me. What I mean by that is it looks a little bit like a bird's nest when you get really up close right on top of it. The other thing that we notice is it's very sparse. There's not a lot of hair up there. And I thought, you know what? I need to talk to my subscribers about cap construction, and I need to pay more attention myself. I need a primer on, ta on cap construction or a reminder of what to look for. Now, before I dive into cap construction, let me just say, I really believe that you should buy the best wig that you can afford. If it's a $50 wig you find for sale on eBay, that's fine. But if you can afford more, my strong advice is learn about cap construction, and we're gonna cover that today in depth. Learn about cap construction and save your money and go for it. I think that in the long run, you will be happy. Now. As I look at this wig, before we jump off of cap construction, I want to say just a word about color. She, she looks like she's got more depth of color on the monitor, and she might look like that to you. And, of course, I see that light shining all over her. Um, but she's very white. She really doesn't have any dimension at all. She might look like she's got dimension, but she really doesn't. And... Uh, I actually like her, and when I put her on, I liked her very much, and I can work with her, but I'm not happy about all this up here. I'm not happy that there's not a lot of hair, but as I look very, very close at it, it looks it looks like a little bit of a mess up there. It looks like, it looks like a bird's nest. The other thing that um, I could do to describe that to you is it looks like when you tease your hair, when you super tease it, it looks like that, right down at the, at the root. And again, that might not bother you, but I think we can do better. That's the bottom line. Okay, so let me put Lexi aside, and let's talk about cap construction. Okay, so what I want to start with is I'm going to make an assumption that, which may not be correct, but I'm going to make an assumption that if you're looking for a wig, that your hair is either thinning, you've lost all your hair, or you're somewhere in, in, in the process of, or in between those two. Um, you may be someone that's just wearing a wig for cosmetic reason. It, reasons. That doesn't really matter. What matters, though, at this juncture is if you are dealing with 
cancer and you've lost your hair, then the breastcancer.org site has some recommendations on what kind of a wig cap is best for you. I knew nothing about wig caps before I bought my first wig. I just looked at the style, I looked at the color, I didn't even know that much about the, the company that made it. I basically looked at style, looked at color, I called somebody up on the telephone, asked a few questions, and spent $700 on my first wig, and, it, and I ended up sending that wig back. Okay, so if you're dealing with total hair loss, partial hair loss, what type of wig cap is best for you? Now, um, I will drop this link from breastcancer.org. You can see it right up here. There's the URL, breastcancer.org. But this has some wonderful information. Now, as I go down through these caps, I'm going to take an actual wig that I have here and show you the cap so that you can see the real thing in my hand that they're talking about. So a basic wig cap, a basic wig cap is called uh, wefted. You'll, you'll hear us say a lot about it. It's open wefted. It's made by machine um, and they sew wefts or you can see it right there. It's curtains of hair onto a thin strip elastic material. Some material is more elastic and some material is more elastic than others. Some has more stretch depending upon the brand and, and who made it. Um, and some of them have permatease, which is kind of feels like a nest underneath the fibers of, uh, of, the, um, of the cap. So let me just grab one and show you the actual thing that they're calling a basic cap or a machine-made cap. So the, the Lexi, the one that I was just showing you, that is a basic cap. So if we turn her out, we can see that she has what breastcancer.org is talking about. She has those wefts or curtains of hair and they're sewn onto thin elastic material. So there's the wefts. They look like tracks. They're calling them curtains of hair. And there they all are. And so you could poke your finger right through there and you can see that that's going to allow for air circul circulation. Now, uh, some caps have permatease. That kind of feels like a bird's nest underneath. I'm not feeling any permatease in this cap whatsoever. So that means it's not going to have a lot of high volume on the top. It's not going to have a lot of high volume on the sides. Let's have a look at another machine made wig. This is from Renee of Paris and in the color pastel blue. I know she doesn't really look blue but that's the color and you could see the blue when you're outside in the sun. You might even be able to see a little bit of it reflected in the monitor. But she is machine made and she's got those wefts or curtains of hair. And you can see a lot of times that the hair kind of pops through when when I when I've taken it off and I before I wear it again, I would have to pop that pop all those individual hairs through that have that have escaped. We have escapees. Okay, but that's all wefting, open wefting or curtains of hair. Okay, and she does not have a lace front. She just is the basic machine-made cap. Now, these types of wigs are usually, um, not always, these types of wigs usually have a lower price point than a lace front or a wig with more bells and whistles. The next kind of wig cap I'll talk about is the lace front. A lace front wig is going to be a higher cost because it's going to give you a more natural hairline. This is Shakerado in the color Roca Margarita Blonde. And if I take her off, you can see 
that she has an absolutely beautifully done lace front. But you can also see that open wefting. So what they did was they combined the open wefting with the lace front so that at the hairline it would give the look that the hair is growing right out of your scalp. I love lace fronts. Not everybody does, but I have a particular affinity for lace fronts. And as long as we're talking about the lace front, we might as well pay attention to another feature, which is the mono filament top. What that means is wherever you see what the mono, whether it's a full mono, and I covered this on one of my Saturdays, I think a couple of weeks ago, and when you see this kind of a cutout in the scalp, you're going to be able to see right down into that scalp area. It looks like the hair is growing right out of your scalp. So the combination of the lace front and the mono top, right, that's a partial mono top, are going to give you the, the illusion of hair coming right out of the scalp. But because they are more work added to the construction of the wig naturally, the wig is going to be more expensive, right? Okay, the next category that we have is the monofilament and as I just spoke about with Shakerado, when I showed you Shakerado, you can have a partial monofilament, and I talked about that a couple of Saturdays ago, where you just have a strip of uh, the mono, the monofilament, where you can part. If when you part it right in that strip, it looks like you're looking right down into your scalp. Or you can have a full monofilament. Now I have in my hands here. Um, Isabella by Envy, and I did a review on her a while back. I'll link it below for you. And this Isabella has a full monofilament top. So just like the lace front, the monofilament means that each hair is tied to that soft lace material by hand. The monofilament crown See that? All in there, it's going to look, when you part it, it's going to look like your, your own scalp. And because it's such a large piece, you can part it in the center, you can part it on the right, you can part it on the left, and I show that in my video. So it really does create the look of hair growth just in the crown area, and it allows the cap to breathe. Now you see, you still have the open wefting, right? So you've got the monofilament, plus the wefting, plus the lace front, plus you've got a, a piece of polyurethane here. So that's going to help if you have no hair at all for it to stay close to your head if you're using tape or it stays or anything like that. Every time you add a feature, naturally the price point is going to go up. But as I've said, this is why I my strong advice is Get the best wig that you can afford. Isabella with that beautiful mono top, that full, we call full mono top, is, to me, it's just a Cadillac. And, of course, the Rolls Royce is going to be a full mono top with, that's all hand tied. But, if the whole thing is hand tied, then, wow, you've got, you've got a very expensive wig in your hand, but it's a wig that's going to look very, very natural. Now again, a word about color on Isabella. She's color 60. She is all white. And if you like all white, you're going to love Isabella. It's a beautiful, beautiful wig. A reminder, I do not sell these wigs. I'm reviewing these wigs. This wig was sent to me by Wig Studio One. And if you wanted to purchase her, if you love her, head over to Wig Studio One. I'll drop a link below for you. And I always thank Wig Studio One for sending me this wig. 
she's just a beautiful beautiful piece of alternative hair but like I said I really should have known especially at that price point that this particular wig um, was probably going to be pretty sparse up here and didn't really have a lot of hair that said it doesn't mean that I won't wear her I will wear her and um, I, pr I may have to I don't know I can see one of the tracks here you see that and if the wind blows I could be in trouble I don't know but I'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying pay attention to what kind of cap it really is you know ask some questions I buy wigs now a lot of times because I like to add to my color collection and I'm all about color if you follow me you know I'm all about color and I like to have something in my hand um, so this was a learning like I said not only did I learn a little bit more about different whites from different companies different color whites from different color companies but a reminder of how important it is to know what kind of cap that you're going to have in your hand before you put your hand in your pocketbook to shell out the money for the wig. Okay, before I end this video, I just wanted to show you just a quick review the difference in the cap constructions. Um, this information comes from envywigs.com. You could see it in the URL right up there. I thought it was very succinct, easy, easy review. There is the open top that we talked about right there. Another big view of it here. These are all clickable links, so you can read, 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 get your information. Remember, I told you I didn't know any of this before I bought my first wig. There's the monofilament, that whole area right there right there that's all where you can part it and it'll look just like scalp it will not look nesty it will it will look just like your real scalp and they have um they have both mono top and mono part the mono top is that great big area there and the mono part remember when i held up shakerado and you the, the long wig and I showed you just the part well that's a mono part so you've got a full mono or a part mono where you can see right through to the scalp and then you've got the lace front where you can see right up there at the hairline they put lace in it and they hand tie the hairs right to that lace front and they'll combine it with a lot of times they'll combine it with open wefting other times they'll combine the lace front with the mono top and you can see that right here the lace front mono top combines the natural hairline of a lace front with the hand tied technology and natural looking scalp and then the Cadillac of them all of course is the hundred percent hand tied wigs and then they've got that beautiful full mono top there so and then of course you go on to human hair and envy hair and all of that so um that uh, again i will drop that link for you down below and then there's another wonderful at milano wigs they do a great job of showing you wig cap construction so really just take some time just get a little bit of an education all you need is a half an hour 45 minutes you know have your favorite be beverage sit down and 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 get some wisdom get some knowledge get some wisdom they say wisdom is knowing how to use the knowledge that you've been given and then finally I wanted to show you um, uh, Patty's uh, wigs by Patty's Pearls and she does something where you can shop by category you see this shop by category let me give that its own page and get rid of myself for a moment so you can go by category monofilament open cap memory cap classic wigs lace front hand tie love that anything to help us to not have to spend all day in front of the computer so everyone, I hope that that helped you today. It certainly was a good reminder of me to look before I leap. 
And But the silver lining is that I was able to use it as a teaching moment for anyone out there that might want a little bit more information about how to buy a wig and a little bit more about cap construction. So as I always say, if you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I hope as you're watching this that you're having a wonderful day, week, month, year, wherever it is in time, and that you will always look for the silver linings, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching.